Hi everyone, I'm LV. Hello, I'm Elizabeth. We are from the customer experience department. It's a great pleasure to have you here. The information we will cover today is designed to help you better understand and use SmartKit. In this presentation, we'd like to introduce how to use SmartKit to maintain data storage. Now, let's get started. SmartKit supports OLM of various data storage product series, covering Ocean Store Dorado, Ocean Store Converged Storage, Ocean Protect, Ocean Store Pacific, Ocean Store 100D series, Fusion Storage, and Fusion Cube series. This course describes how to use SmartKit in routing OLM and change operations of storage products. First, let's look at the application scenarios of SmartKit. We have two types of storage tools open to partners, DMIQ on the cloud and the on-premises SmartKit. DMIQ helps with remote operations such as network design, remote O&M, and installed base operation. In contrast, SmartKit focuses on operations requiring client device connections, for example, site deployment delivery, routing maintenance, upgrade or patch installation, capacity expansion, and so on. In certain scenarios, SmartKit and DMIQ can collaborate with each other to boost storage delivery and O&M efficiency. Let's see how they make it. SmartKit collects data locally for evaluation, such as device information and inspection logs, and uploads the data to the DMEIQ cloud system for analysis. The cloud system automatically generates reports about site deployment quality inspection, health evaluation, and fault diagnosis. Besides, the LLD configuration file generated by the DMEIQ LLD network design tool can be imported to SmartKit for site deployment. This slide describes SmartKit positioning. SmartKit is a toolkit for IT OLM engineers. First, it can be considered a unified platform that provides OLM for IT products, such as storage devices and servers, avoiding frequent to switch over during routing OLM. It provides tailored guidance based on the summary of OLM scenarios including seven scenarios for storage, such as site deployment delivery, routine maintenance, troubleshooting, upgrade or patch installation, capacity expansion, migration, and parts replacement. It supports standardized and wizard-based operations, reducing differences in OLM operations of engineers and implementing standardized product OLM. Let's move on. Now to the second part, key features of SmartKit. The first one is site deployment delivery. Previously, multiple sub-tools need to be switched back and uh, forced to perform scale-out storage deployment, presenting poor efficiency and usability. Now, SmartKit unifies the entire deployment framework and supports one-stop IBMC IP address configuration, network installation, firmware and driver upgrade, storage configuration, and site deployment quality check required for scale-out storage deployment, improving delivery efficiency by over 10%. Moreover, for flash storage devices, we offer flash storage deployment delivery, which enables one-stop AutoPath software installation, deployment and implementation, and deployment inspection. That's all about site deployment delivery. Let's turn our attention now to the next feature, site deployment quality inspection. In fact, 
we need to check the device status and the configuration compliance to ensure normal running of subsequent services. Therefore, we must perform quality inspection after basic storage configurations are complete. These configurations usually include creating storage pools, lungs, mappings, and so on. Actually, there are two check modes, automatic check and manual check. Manual checks refer to external storage devices, such as power supply, power consumption, and host side networking. Automatic checks mean that the two automatic checks a storage device when connecting to the device and generates a report. Next, I'd like to introduce the health check, a common scenario. It's mainly used for a routine device check to determine potential running risks. I will discuss how to use the tool and its related capabilities. The device check is implemented through inspection. The tool helps comprehensively perform a health check on the software and hardware standards, service standards, and software versions of devices. Detected risks are displayed. The tool directly provides rectification suggestions or cases for OLM personnel to handle the risks in a timely manner and avoid risks. For data centers with a large number of devices, the tool supports concurrent inspection to improve the efficiency. The inspection reports generated by uh, SmartKit can be submitted to the DMEIQ Cloud OLM platform for archiving, viewing, and tracking and conclusion in a timely manner. If a device risk is detected, certain device information needs to be collected in batches for problem confirmation or log backup. SmartKit provides an information collection component that collects system logs, alarms, and configurations in batches. In addition to log collection, the system also supports advanced functions such as log splitting by time segment and log collection by node. This avoids sending unnecessary log information when the log size is too large. The log reports collected by smart keys can be submitted to the DMIQ Cloud ONM platform for fault diagnosis and analysis. During troubleshooting, the tool not only connects the information but also provides the auxiliary diagnosis. The tool is built on experience from more than 600 maintenance experts. By obtaining device deformation and storage system logs, the tool quickly analyzes faults and provides troubleshooting measures within 30 minutes. Auxiliary fault diagnosis reduces skill requirements for field engineers. The preceding tools are mainly used to check and diagnose devices. Next, let's learn how to use the tools in upgrade, capacity expansion, and parts replacement scenarios. Let's begin with the upgrade and hot patch installation. According to the current change process, a set survey or check needs to be performed on devices before the change to identify change risks in advance and prevent the operation from impacting services. A set survey is performed before device upgrade, whereas patch evaluation is performed before hot patch installation. Before the upgrade, perform the following operations, inspection, upgrade evaluation, information collection, and capability evaluation. Information checks the health status of devices. Upgrade evaluation checks the upgrade risk of storage devices and supports the fast upgrade and rolling upgrades. If any item fails to pass the check, rectify the fault or contact service engineers. During the rolling upgrade, controllers need to be reset 
and uh, service uh, paths need to be switched. So you can use the tool to evaluate the compatibility. For compatibility, you need to obtain the host configuration information. In this case, you need to log in as a user with the root permission. Compared with the device upgrade, hot patch installation is much easier and faster. This is because hot patch installation is a lightweight upgrade module and doesn't restart the controller. The whole process involves basic package import, pre-patching check, patch installation, and post-patching check. Next, let's talk about capacity expansion. How we focus on hardware capacity expansion? There are two types of capacity expansion. One is scale out, which refers to controller expansion. The other is the scale up mode, which means vertical expansion, covering adding disks, disk enclosures, and disk base. Capacity expansion also involves some hardware operations. Therefore, documents are provided to guide the installation and uninstallation. This slide focuses on controller expansion. We'll describe how to expand the capacity of a new engine by adding switches. Make preparations in advance. First, the model and version of the new engine must be the same as those of original cluster. If the versions are different, upgrade or install a patch in advance. Second, enable the AD process of the engine. This operation is used for the communication protocol between the original cluster and the new engine. The AD process of the new engine will be automatically disabled after 24 hours. And then you need to manually enable the process. Third, service never ever run on the new engine. Fourth, during capacity expansion, the networking and configuration must be correct. Otherwise, the capacity expansion will be affected. Common errors include reverse connection of the original and the new engines, reverse connection of switches, and incorrect switch configurations. Finally, configure a management IP address for the new engine to facilitate subsequent management and maintenance. It is easy to expand the capacity of controllers and replace 40 parts. You can replace parts in just four steps. Operations include spare parts selection, pre-replacement check, parts replacement, and post-replacement check. Both faulty and risky parts can be replaced. Access caution when replacing parts. Here we come to the last part, advanced functions. SmartKit allows you to set scheduled tasks for added devices and requires no manual operation. SmartKit automatically performs device inspection or hardware inspection tasks at the specific time. You can connect logs on SmartKit to locate its own faults. In addition, you are advised to use the online upgrade function provided by SmartKit to upgrade the entire toolkit. In this way, you do not need to reinstall the function plugins, which are installed before the upgrade. Finally, here are answers to some frequently asked questions or FAQs. Where can we download the tool? Where can we obtain documentation? We can download the tool from this website and documentation from this website. The latest tool version is recommended. And also, what permissions are required? To use the corresponding tool capabilities, partners need to log in to this technical support website and choose My Huawei then partner user center and associate the company. The last question, 
Where can we obtain documentation introducing the two capabilities? We can view the online help of the two, that is, clicking the question mark button in the upper right corner of the two. That's, That's all, all for, for this course. course. Thank, Thank you for listening. listening.